so that picture I have up there is the same picture that's in classroom that says T shirt design sizes or something. Uh, and you need these dimensions that are listed on each of those t shirts so that you can make your scale factors so that you know how much you're going to multiply your points by to shrink it down to do the reduction or to enlarge it. I'm going to do an example going from medium to youth extra small, which will be that one, because that's one that you're not doing. Uh, but we're going to keep the medium <coughs> as the normal size. Uh, so everything, whichever one you decide to do is going to be comparing it to the medium. The medium dimensions, it says, are... Can you read that? 15 inches tall and 14 inches wide. Right. Yeah, thank you. 15 tall by 14 wide. Keep track of that's tall and that's wide. And on the youth extra small, it says it's 13 by 8. Again, that's tall and that's wide. If you make these scale factors, you're just going to make proportions. A proportion, remember, is just a fraction. So we're going to match up our talls. We'll do the smaller one over the larger one. And then divide that. When you divide 13 by 15, that's 0.866 repeating. For your purposes, you can probably just do 8666. And what you're going to do is take that number. Tall is X or Y. Tall will be up and down. Would that be X or Y? Tall will be up and down. Y. That would be the Y. So you're going to take all of your Y points and you multiply it by that number right there in your spreadsheet. So let's write some steps here. Step one is we listed the dimensions. That's in your spreadsheet. A spot for you to do that. Step two is we made a ratio. The numbers for your ratio is coming out of that picture that you have in classroom. And we divided the ratio to get the scale factor. tall, we would multiply all the y values, because that's the tall, if you're doing y, you do the x's, and then you would repeat this for the other dimension. There it says coordinate points for two sizes other than medium. And I wrote choose a size that would be an enlargement and a size that would be a reduction. What are the sizes that would be smaller than medium? You could do small, you could do youth large, you could do youth medium, you could do youth small. Any of those. For the enlargement, for the enlargements, you could just do large or extra large. Those would be your only two choices. Uh, whichever ones you do, I don't care. Just choose two of them. Uh, using my numbers, if I was going to do extra small, like I just found that 0.8664. Uh, first, I want you to declare what you're doing. Uh, use extra small. <coughs> and here would be a spot for all the X's, all the Y's. Uh, here I'm going to do my tall. So I need to do a formula so I can tell it to multiply by 0.8666. Do 
do a formula, you hit equals. And I'm going to tell it what I want to multiply. I'm doing the total. And I'm going to multiply that. That's the asterisk button by 0.8666. And then I hit enter. And it did it for me. The last shortcut you can use for that formula so you don't have to do it over and over again is this blue square on the bottom. See when I hover on it, it gets that plus. If I drag that over as far as my points go, it'll do that to all those points. That's going to be your real time save right there. So then I, the next step from here would be to find my scale factor for the x's of that one and then to put that in the row right above here that I have. It would be times a different number. So that's how you do the scale factors and then you 